everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we are going to be looking at the open number line today. And the open number line can be used in different kinds of higher level maths. But what we're going to use it for today is we are going to be using it to show how we're counting by ones and by tens. Because usually what we're used to doing is using a hundreds chart. And we could just count along on the hundreds chart. But when we have an open number line, we're kind of in charge and showing our work when it comes to counting by ones and tens, or you could count however you want on an open number line, because that's why it's called an open number line. You're kind of in charge of how that works. But we're only doing by ones and by tens today. We're keeping it easy. So what I have here first, I want to count 34 to 40 using the open number line, counting by one. So notice how I have this open line here starting at 34. I really don't have an ending point because I want to see how far I get when I have to get to 40. Okay, then it will end it there. So when I start with my open number line, I want to make little like curved motions here because that's gonna show me that I'm gonna to go to the next number and the next number in the sequence. So when we look for 34 on our number line here, remember we're going in the across fashion because we're counting by one. So we're staying in that row. So here we go, 34, next number, 35, next number when we count, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Now notice how we ended our line there, okay? So what we wanna do here is we wanna now count the hops and see how many hops did it take to get from 34 to 40 because that's what this kind of helps us gauge for, to help solve with higher level math when we do different operations. So here we have plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. So let's count each one of those individual hops. One, two, three, four, five, six hops. So to get from 34 to 40, it was six hops. All right, so stay tuned. We are going to do another example, counting by ones, okay? Hold on. Okay, and we're back. So now I change things up a little bit. I'm going from 61 to 69 this time. So remember, we're still counting by one, so we're starting at 61. We're going in that across motion, in that row, and then we are going to be those little hops to show how many hops it's gonna take us to get from 61 to 69. So let's continue to count, count the sequence. So we start at 61, and then obviously the next number is gonna be 62. You could count along with me, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, Ooh, we just made it at 69. So what we wanna do, now we wanna count each individual hop to see how many does it take to get from 61 to 69. So I'm gonna add in my little ones here. It's gonna tell us that I have to count each one of those hops by one. So here we go, let's count how many hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So technically, it took eight hops to get from 61 to 69. All right, so when we come back, we are gonna change things up a little bit. We are gonna be changing from ones to tens. So stay tuned. Hi everybody, and we're back. So what I'm doing now is we are gonna be counting by tens. We're changing it up a little bit. So we're going from 19 to 59. So when you think about the next number in the sequence, it's not going to be 20. Why is it not gonna be 20? 
because I'm not counting by ones. Remember, I'm counting by tens. So when we counted by ones, it was in that row. We're going across. When we do it by tens, remember, we are going up and down in the columns. So we're going to be counting differently. So remember, so if we want to start on 19, the next number, as I said, is not going to be 20. We're going down in the columns. So we're going to get to 59 a lot quicker because we're counting by tens. I probably need a way bigger line if I was only going to do it by ones here. So let's go ahead. Let's count by our tens here. So I'm going at 19. The next 10, 29, 29. Next 10, 39. Next 10, 49. And then our last 10 is 59, okay? So I made my line a little bit too long, but that's okay because I need to know where I need to stop. So I needed to stop at 59. So remember when we were counting on our ones open number line, I put a little plus one over each one here because remember we are counting by tens here. But how many tens are we saying now? How many tens are we going from 19 to 59? So I have one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. But let's, let's skip count those four tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. So there we have it. So I'm showing you how we're using that open number line to skip count by tens, how many tens, and what that total value of those tens are. All right, hold tight. Let's do one more example. Okay, and we're back. So what we're going to be doing now, we are going to be counting by tens again to get from 27 to 77 this time. So I'm going to start at 27. And remember, you are going to be going down because we're going in that column form because we're counting by tens. So here I start with 27. The next number I'm going to be counting is 37. Then I have 47. Then I have 57. Then 67. Then 77. All right. So now I want to go ahead and I want to count how many hops did it take to get from 27 to 77. So I'm going to add my little tens there. All right. So how many tens? How many tens did I do? How many hops? So one, two, three, four, five tens. But the value of that five tens, let's count them, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 27 to 77 is five hops by 10, which is worth 50. So boys and girls, I hope you like our little tutorial on counting on the number line. As I always do, I encourage you to try to practice at home, counting by ones and tens using your own number line techniques. And I'll be talking to y'all again soon. Bye everyone.